Hello, my name is Ed. I'm the artist for a game dev group called XMPT Games and I'm making a video demonstrating a piece of software called Spine uh, for a post on our website's blog. To give the obligatory link, uh, it's appearing on screen now. So I'm going to be giving a quick video demo of Spine, which is a piece of uh, software aimed at 2D animation for games. First thing to do is to import my files. So I've pre-created this character that I'm going to animate and I'll just put a picture in the background and fade it out. Next I'm going to create a series of bones. So as you can see I'm just clicking to drag and creating the bones that will make up the figure skeleton. So you have a, a main bone there which is kind of the, the skirt bone of this character uh, and then children of that are the leg bones uh, the torso is also has the skirt as a parent and then the torso has children of the arms, the neck, the neck has a child of the head. What this means is that when you move one of the bones, all the bones that are children of it will also move around so it allows you to rig up skeletal animation for 2D characters. The next thing to do is to drag some images onto my bones. So I've taken the, the image in the background started off as a layered PSD uh, which I've then mixed down into a single image. I've also cut up the individual parts of the image so that I can use them to attach to bones. So all I'm doing here is dragging images onto bones and then repositioning them so that they're centered and positioned in the right place. Uh, you might notice that the draw order is all out of whack at the moment. Uh, I'll go back and fix that after I finish positioning the images. So an important part of the workflow is as you're creating the layered PSD file and getting your initial pose for the character to make sure you get each of the individual components that you're going to want to attach to a bone as a separate layer. This is me just sorting out the drawer order now. So I've posed her in this kind of neutral, sort of doing a bit of a walk kind of standing pose. I basically just copied the pose of the uh, example spine walking animation because I thought that's probably a good starting point. I'm just googling up uh, a basic walk animation here. So I've had a few goes with this and I've tried kind of using a few reference images and none of them have looked that good so I'm just trying one that I haven't tried so far doing a very rough mock-up of the animation. So now in the animate uh, setting I am posing up my initial frame of animation. Once I've got that I can keyframe it. Now if I just work out how many frames in the overall animation, we'll go for 40 and keyframe up the same frame into position 40. That means I can ensure that this loops smoothly. I then pick the halfway point in the animation, repose and set myself another keyframe. So I'm going to leave it as a rough animation like this for this tutorial because that just kind of shows you roughly how it works. But one thing I am going to do is tweak that shoulder. So what this shows is that you can go back into the setup and reposition your bones to make your animation smoother. So that is Spine. Uh, it's something that we're planning to use in our workflow and it gives you a lot of the benefits from 3D animation, brings them into 2D animation. So for example, the ease of creating new animation sequences from one set of art assets and the reusability of those animation sequences are things that you get for free by doing it with Spine. Uh, it's uh, You can buy a license for Spine, you can also download a free trial of it, check it out, give it a try and possibly give it a purchase.